um, just finished editing day two's video. I ended up working about an hour instead of 30 minutes. I'm still trying to work on being efficient and quick. Just gonna take some time to figure out you know how to do things efficiently but i feel like i'm getting into my groove so that's good i am going to get dressed because i've been in this disgusting sweatshirt that has cat hair all over it uh for the past like 16 hours maybe and i just want to kind of get dressed into something into something more <laughs> so let's go do that Okay, changed into this black little jumper with a white t-shirt underneath. I feel like it's still comfy and casual, but much cuter than my sweatshirt situation from earlier. Just gonna do some really, really basic makeup to get me feeling ready for the day. Hair is a bit, it's a bit crazy. Look at all the beautiful greens we got from our garden today. I've been meaning to show you a garden update because it looks so much more full than the last time I showed you, which wasn't even that long ago. It's just been blowing up and growing like crazy. We have some radishes. Look how beautiful these guys are. All of the leaves have these holes in it and I'm not sure what is getting to them. There's like nothing on the leaves. We never see any like bugs or anything, but they all have all these holes on them. This is our, what, third time doing a raised garden bed at a community car garden. So we are by no means experts, but it's just been something fun. We've been able to do together, especially last summer at the height of the pandemic when we weren't really going anywhere. This was kind of like our only opportunity and excuse to get outside and do something with our hands, do something that didn't involve any like digital screen time. So it's just really, really been a, a, a special treat. So we have a bowl of radishes, a big bowl of arugula. This is a salad medley. These are both different kinds of lettuce and I'm thinking for lunch, we're gonna make ourselves a salad. Oh my God, look at how beautiful this is. I'm actually gonna add some cherries to this salad. I usually like to add a little bit of fruit and we have a bunch, as you saw from the weekend. Look how pretty they are. the best cheese in the world, but it'll do. Mmm. Delicious. Solid. Mmm. So flavorful. Oh my goodness, so good. So fresh. been reading 1Q84 for the past couple of weeks. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet. It's an extremely long book. As you can see, it's over a thousand pages. I'm on page 435. This is the second book that I've read by Haruki Murakami. The first book I read was Norwegian Wood, and I really loved that book. But then after reading that book, I read a couple reviews that talked about how Murakami writes a lot with the male gaze in mind. That wasn't 
something that I noticed while reading Norwegian Wood, but after reading that review and now starting this book, it's definitely something that I can see in his writing and just the kinds of female characters that he writes. The writing in and of itself and the story is really good and I'm definitely gonna finish it. I just, I'm still unsure about how I feel about it. Thank you for joining me. Yeah. Uh -huh.